Are you gonna lie down or are you gonna sit? You're just gonna sit there? You lie down? Okay. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Offbeat Worlds. I'm Stephanie and let's do another unboxing. This is the Owl Crate box, which for those of you who don't know, this is a book box. So they usually have YA Fantasy and this is the third one that I've gotten. I did one in July, I did another one last month in September and so this is the October box and the theme is supposed to be Once Upon a Dream. So let's see what's inside. By the way, please don't mind that my bed is a little bit unmade. It's laundry day. Goodbye. Okay, so first of all, of course, we have the postcard. It says Once Upon a Dream. What do we got here? What's this? Is this a giant hat? Who sits and what sits? Inspired by your favorite childhood stories. It's a beanie for the Lost Boys of Neverland. Oh, that's cute. This is probably way too big for me, though. Oh, maybe not. All right. Then we have another of those little passports that they had from last month. Last month it was a coloring book, so let's see what it is this time. <laughs> it's just a little notebook with some Wizard of Oz. It's so cute. Oh, I like that. All right. And then we've got a piece of jewelry from the Geeky Cauldron. It looks like a Sleeping Beauty. Sorry, I would be more enthusiastic. I'm just not a jewelry person. Uh, we've got a bookmark, I think. And out. Oh, yeah, I think this is just like a little cute little bookmark. It's a paper clip. That's super cute. And we've got another bookmark. Be strong, survive, Team Phoenix from the New World series, which I have not read, but it looks cool. And we've got our little owl crate pin for the month and our book, Vasa in the Night. Right. Stay. We've got. <gasps> It's a temporary tattoo, oh my god. Got our little signature from the author, plus a letter. Touch beneath your way. Uh, I can't read her handwriting. All right, let's check out this book here. A dark, thoroughly modern fairy tale crackling with wit and magical mayhem. In the enchanted kingdom of Brooklyn, the fashionable people put on cute shoes, go to parties and warehouses, drink on rooftops at sunset, and tell themselves They've arrived. A whole lot of Brooklyn is like that now, but not Vasa's working class neighborhood. In Vasa's neighborhood, where she lives with her stepmother and bickering stepsisters, one might stumble onto magic, but stumbling away again could become an issue. Bob Ziag, the owner of the local convenience store, has a policy of beheading shoplifters and sometimes innocent shoppers as well. When Vasa's stepsister sends her out for light bulbs in the middle of the night, she knows it could easily become a suicide mission. But Vasa has a bit of luck hidden in her pocket, a gift from her dead mother. Erg is a tough talking wooden doll with sticky fingers, a bottomless stomach, and a ferocious cunning. With Erg's help, Vasa might just be able to break the witch's curse and free her Brooklyn neighborhood, but Babs won't be playing fair. Inspired by the Russian folktale of Vasilisa the Beautiful and her years of experience teaching creative writing to students in New York City uh, public schools, acclaimed author Sarah Porter weaves a dark yet hopeful tale about a young girl's search for home, love, and belonging. Another black book. This is the third black book I've gotten from Elgrade. So yeah, that sounds really cool. So Vast in the Night by Sarah Porter. This sounds like a really awesome book and I'm excited to read it. I still haven't read the book that I got last month yet. All right, and finally we have the preview for next month, the November box, which is, oh, Wonderland. <laughs> I can read. Well, that'll be fun. That was a nice box. This is really comfortable. So Owl Crate is a really cool box for people who like to read books. Obviously, it's uh, usually YA fantasy. I think that's what it is. It's just YA fantasy. And I definitely recommend their box. I think they have a lot of really cool stuff in them. The only thing is, you know, since it is kind of more aimed towards girls, they will have things like jewelry and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of jewelry. But other than that, it's a great box. They have really good stuff. Like last month, they had a bath bomb, which I was like, oh, yes. So yeah, definitely recommend Owl Crate if you can get it. It's pretty good. You just go to owlcrate.com. They also have an Instagram page, Twitter, all that stuff. I think they're about 
$30. And if you follow any bookstagrammers on Instagram or something like that, a lot of them will have discount codes so you can use those to get your first box. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button that's right down there. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Friday and sporadically throughout the week. Stay excellent to each other and keep making awesome things. Bye!